Good morning, everybody. We are going to be doing a standing up ab workout today. Did you know you don't have to get on the ground to work out your abs? That's right. So this is my first Facebook Live doing a workout with you guys. It's gonna be short and sweet, testing it out today. So if you're just joining, I'm Laura London, a holistic health, nutrition, and fitness coach, and I help busy women get hot and healthy from the inside out, hey Adam, and men, uh, at any age. So I'm super excited to be here today. We're gonna be doing five ab exercises standing up. If you haven't, I want you to go grab some weights, anywhere from three pounds to eight pounds. Hey Shane, is going to be perfect for this workout. So first I want to talk to you. So many people write to me and they say, Laura, hi Michelle. They say, Laura, you know, I have a back issue. I can't get down on the ground to work out. And you know what? I have that same issue. I have what's called a PARS defect in my back. It's a little bone that's fractured and kind of moves out of place. So it's very hard for me to get on the ground. So today we're doing standing up abs. If, you, if you're if you just joining us, I'm so excited. Yay, thumbs up, thumbs up, hearts. I'm still figuring out this whole Facebook Live. But go grab some weights. We're gonna warm up in just a minute. I wanna to talk to you about making the mind-muscle connection when you're working out your core because this is super, super huge. Most people, when they're doing ab work, hi, Leslie, hi, Leslie from London, Laura London from London and Leslie, hey, Leslie. So making that mind-muscle connection. Most people will do the movement. But what I want you to do and what I will teach you is to feel the movement. Because when you can feel the ab muscles deep in, in your core working and you're focusing on them, they're gonna be so much more effective and you're going to start to get the results that you've been looking for. No more mindless crunches and saying, why isn't this working? All right, so on that note, yay, we've got people joining, so excited. All right, I want you to go grab your weights, maybe a water bottle. Again, this is gonna be really short because it's the first time that I am doing this. All right, so we're gonna start just warming up. We're gonna move back here, and we're just gonna kind of do some open arms, down, nice arms. It's always important to warm up before you exercise and cool down when you're finished. All right, so give me some nice arm circles, that's it. We're gonna be using the arms and the core. You know it. All right, let's go backwards. Nice big arm circles. All right, give me a couple more here. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna twist across the body. I want to open up this whole core. Let's do it from side to side. Pivot your foot on the floor. I know you can't see my foot right now, but it's pivoting and twisting that's it really stretch opening up that core because you know we're going to be working it I feel that london burn all right now i want you to just go side to side and really stretch out those obliques stretch it out with me everyone you got it good job couple more here just warming up that body before we start our standing up ab workout all right, two more here, one and two. Okay, my weights are here, grab your weights. The first exercise, we're gonna be doing these five exercises, 30 seconds each. Hello, all right, I have my gym boss timing here, I love this thing. The first thing we're going to be doing are ab side bends, and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you each exercise before we do it. We're leaning to the side, really feeling the pull in our obliques, and we're pulling up from the core. We're not hoisting our body, okay? We're gonna be doing it nice and slow because that's very effective. All right, I'm gonna set my timer. Are you guys ready? Hey, Chrisinda, she's at work, okay? She's gonna do it any, with no weight. All right, 30 second side bends. 
There's my timer. Here we go. Let me make sure I set it. Yes. Just let me double check. Oh gosh. Hold on guys. My timer. All right. We've got 18 seconds. So I'm just going to talk again. This is what happens when you are live. All right, nine seconds. We're gonna be doing ab side bends, everyone, as soon as my timer goes up. My dog over there is terrified of this timer. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, 30 seconds are on the clock. Ab side bends, nice and slow, making that mind-muscle connection, pulling up from your core, right? And I love to add weights to my ab workouts because that really, really challenges them. And as you get stronger, you can increase those weights. All right, are you starting to feel that? I'm feeling it. All right, that was our first exercise. We're gonna put one weight down and we're going to be doing an ab twist. Actually, nope, I lied. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna hold both of those weights out in front of us and we're gonna be twisting to the side, twisting to the side. Your foot is pivoting on the floor and you are working your obliques. I want you to feel them. Ready everyone? Here we go. 30 seconds, I keep forgetting my timer. Here we go. All right, twisting and keeping those weights up in the air, not letting them drop. We're also working our arms, we're working our shoulders. We're working our core. You got it. How you doing? Are you feeling it? Woohoo! Let's do it. All right, keep twisting. Twist as far as you can to feel that core working. Beautiful, keep it going. All right, boom. Uh, our next exercise, I keep putting my weights down, um, our ab punches. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna plant our feet nice and firmly on the floor, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna bring these weights up and we're punching and crossing in front of the body and we're twisting our core at the same time. Ready? Setting that timer. 30 seconds, here we go. Ready, punch, punch, punch. Keep it going, that's it. Punch it. Twist your core as you're doing it. You're gonna feel that. Ooh, I'm feeling it right now. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're doing standing up abs today. Five exercises, 30 seconds each. That's it. Boom, boom. Keep it going until you hear that timer going off. Ah, we did it. All right, awesome. Now we're going to be using one weight. All right. These are, I call these infinity abs. You need one weight gonna hold it with both hands. You know the infinity sign? It's kind of like a sideways eight. We're gonna be writing that with our weight. And we're, our feet are planted on the floor and we're keeping it kind of in this tight little range right in front of our body. Again, working that core from every angle. All right, 30 seconds, I'm losing my voice. 30 seconds are on the clock, bam, here we go. That's it. Really feel that core. Move the core. Mind muscle. Mind muscle. Give me those infinity circles. Draw that eight. That's it. You got it, guys. Draw it. Keep it going. 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. That's it. All right. All right, last exercise is an ab pull and crunch. You're gonna need both of your weights, and this is what it looks like. We're pulling down and lifting our leg up at the same time. I see all these things. Hi, Lillian. Yes, easy enough, but very, very effective. All right, ab pull and crunch, 30 seconds. Are you ready? Awesome. All right, here we go. Pull and crunch, pull and crunch, that's it. I have eight pound weights right here today. And again, if you need to make it easier, you can start with no weight and then you can increase your weight. 
You can bump it up 10 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever your ability level is, and really challenge your core. We're, feet, we're moving our arms, working our arms and our core, and getting some cardio in there. All right, everybody. Let me get a sip of water here. Always hydrate. That's it. I told you guys it was going to be really short and sweet today because I wanted to see how a Facebook Live exercise broadcast would go. Um, it went great. Thank you so much for joining me. You can go back and do these exercises. Do this circuit three times in a row. If you want, you can bump the time up to a minute for each exercise instead of 30 seconds. I'm out of breath. Um, and I wanted to tell you also, if you come to my website, laurelondonfitness.com, you can register for my free program. It's called uh, The Hot Body. It is on the homepage of my website. It's a seven day program. You'll get a meal plan. You get my exercises. It's awesome. So go there, laurelondonfitness.com and sign up. And I give me a thumbs up if you like this. Bell Garden, California. Awesome. I'm so glad you guys were here for this first Facebook Live exercise broadcast. I'll be doing more of them. We'll be doing full workouts. And I see, <laughs> I love this Facebook Live. All right, that's it. I, got, I have to go start my day. Again, so important when doing your core work to make that mind muscle connection. That is what is going to give you that core, that six pack, obviously eating well too. Thank you, Christinda. Um, and that's it for today. Love you guys. And I will see you on the next broadcast. Bye-bye. You're welcome, Karen. Have a great day.